Welcome. In front of me, I have the brand new iPhone SE from 2022. And I'll go over unboxing along with a quick overview of the specs of this device. So anyway, let's start off uh, and open it up. And props to Apple for including these things. I actually really like these. I think should, every phone should have this. So you can just pull this off. And then this one. And you have easy access to the device. Flawless. Anyway, uh, so nothing at the top of the box. And we are presented with a phone, which is not the actual like back of it. Now the Apple logo is barely visible on here. It only like shines through like certain there we go, angles, which is kind of weird. Not very Apple-like, what I would say. And then obviously we get the phone itself here. We get a couple accessories, so uh, SIM eject tool in here, I believe, yep, there we go. Some paperwork, and then the cable. So Type-C to the, uh, I believe it's Lightning, or whatever they call it. And then we got the device itself. So let's just peel that off. Oh, it goes all around. There we go. Okay, so it's turning on now. So uh, let's quickly go over the specs right here. We're looking at a uh, 4.7 inch display, so super small display. Now it is actually smaller than the uh, footprint of the phone itself. So that's one thing uh, that I'll rag on here. Uh, these bezels are absolutely ridiculous. I don't care that this phone is budget. Uh, even budget phones can make a phone look better than this. Uh, it feels nice in hand, but these bezels just make this look absurd. What is in that space that couldn't be occupied by the damn display? I don't care it's budget. Like, did, did, did Apple buy too many of these uh, screens before? When they were making like iPhone, what was it, 7? So yeah, uh, I, I completely consider this to be ridiculous. Um, and I don't care what the reasoning here, it's just absurd. Then uh, we're looking at a another like insult. Uh, the resolution right here is 750 by 1334. This is like low end budget resolution. And uh, I do get that the phone isn't the most expensive one. Uh, with the two, uh, 256, it comes at around like 600, 650 dollars, right? Something along those lines, I think. Um, but still, at 650, this is just pitiful. I I can't really commend that. Like, mean, it's I have no words for this, to be honest. Now, I believe where most of the actual price went in as the Apple A15 uh, chip, which you pay the most here for. Uh, but to be fair, uh, <clears throat> at a chip is really good. But at this resolution and screen size, it doesn't really matter that it's that powerful. It's not like you can find anything that can probably utilize this to the fullest potential. The resolution and gaming, uh, the resolution of the screen won't even like probably scratch the surface of this processor. So, so yeah. Anyway, um, I just continue. So, like I said, I'm not gonna go to the setup. It requires to uh, look into a couple of things which I don't really feel like doing. So I just uh, flip it over and look at the camera right here. So we're looking at a single uh, 12 megapixel camera, which apparently shoots at uh, 4K 30 and 60 frames. So that's nice, 1080p, also 30, 60, slow motion of 120 and 240. Uh, one thing that I'll mention, uh, this is a slow motion of 120 and the display itself doesn't even support 120 Hertz refresh rate, another little uh, kind of mishap even though uh, because budget devices nowadays support a higher refresh rate than than 60 so that's why i kind of think that they just have too many of these displays and they're pumping out these garbage phones to get rid of these displays there's no other reason to include this kind of like build on current gen phones they could make these honestly if they would have made the actual display better here just high refresh rate and just these bezels just get rid of them um this phone would be 
so much better. At that point, if for instance, this is at least a 1080p display with, uh, for instance, a 90 hertz refresh rate, oh boy, this, this would become an absolute amazing device. But with this kind of display, a single camera, uh, I don't mind the actual single camera, I'll be honest. Uh, just because uh, if the alternative is to have sticker cameras of 2 megapixels, this is a better solution. I prefer to have one over the like uh, two additional ones that are just not usable. So this is fine. Now I haven't actually tested the camera here, how well it works. So that's something that it will need to be uh, put to test later on, but yeah. Uh, now when it comes down to a couple additional specs, uh, apart from the camera, we're looking at 4 gigs of RAM, so not much uh, RAM in here. Again, for the price, I would expect a little bit more, at least like 6. Uh, but like I said, we do have basically the latest uh, Apple chips that are in here. And in terms of battery, again, not the biggest one, but uh, in this case, that's fine. The phone is quite small. So this is a 2018 uh, milliamp hour battery. So fairly small one, but again, I guess that's one place where the uh, trashy uh, ref um, display comes in and play. So with such a resolution uh, and size of the display, uh, this small battery size uh, should last longer than you probably expect, just because the display right here won't consume as much battery. So that's one benefit of having garbage display here. Uh, so there we go. And there's not much more to say about it. Uh, there is a couple of versions of this. We have 64 and at least in where I am from in Poland, uh, 64 and 256 gig storage. Apparently there's also 128, which uh, might probably be the most appealing to everybody uh, option because it provides you with some storage to the phone. And uh, well, you don't, you don't have expendable storage in here. So you either rely on iCloud or just uh, the storage that you purchase, which if you're planning to capture some videos, photos, uh, uh, download a bunch of applications, I would recommend going for at least the 128. So there we go. So yeah, there's not much to say about this. It's basically an iPhone in all its senses um, with the latest chipset and uh, just more garbage display uh, at a cheaper price tag. So. Apparently, uh, this phone comes at around 400 and about 30 uh, US dollars. Though where I'm from, uh, it's more expensive. I assume this price is just without the tax in this case, just because for me, it, it is more expensive uh, than 430 bucks. Like I said, it's at the lowest end, it's about 500 bucks for me and where I'm from, which is Poland. So anyway, um, to end this video, the phone is fine. I, I, uh, I, I'm not the biggest fan of Apple just because of weird decisions that they make, which I just cannot understand. And uh, the reason I, I don't like it is there are better alternatives to it with at the same price. So for me, for instance, this phone in particular, it just completely falls off just because of the display. Uh, if this phone would cost even more than the 400, uh, 20, uh, 30, or even 500, uh, I would be fine paying this 500 bucks for a phone that has just a hole punched camera and no bezels. Hell, I don't, I don't even care about that fingerprint sensor uh, that much. Uh, if I, if I get a better display, I can have it on the side maybe, like uh, some of the iPads do. As an example, something like. Have this little boy here so this uh, i believe has a, a fingerprint sensor on oh, the power button do that in here uh remove this and voila you're you're all good to go and you have a way better experience on the device with a much bigger display most likely high resolution and hopefully high refresh rate worth paying for this i just cannot really justify because if you're selling a phone as a budget device to just people that are looking for a a uh, more uh, cheaper alternative uh, then they're not expecting too much from the device there's no point rocking the latest uh, Apple chipset in here for someone that most likely isn't even looking for that just because I assume people that are looking for budget phones would probably not really uh, care that much for performance they're 
their primary concern is the price. Uh, though I might be kind of wrong here, uh, I guess if you're looking probably for budget, you're also looking for the best value, which in terms of raw performance, this will probably provide you with the best, uh, the best value. Where it doesn't provide you best value is the screen, which I personally, because I look at it all the time, I would like to have a little bit better than this. So yeah, um, like I said, uh, that's probably my only gripe here, the display and everything else is fine. The size, uh, the build quality and everything, just I, I do like just the display. So anyway, if you found this rant, I guess, uh, in any way helpful, uh, then don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and thanks for watching.